Today, we're going to see if the Bavarian Duke, Welf, can become the Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire. With the early demise of his father, Alberto, Welf became the Duke of Lombardy. Using displays of wealth, parties, and tours, he fought his way over to the side of the Holy Roman Emperor. All the while, he waited for the old Duke Otto of Bavaria to die before making his move, with many lovers and enemies in both Lombardy and Bavaria. Duke Welf has quite the challenge ahead of him if he's to become the greatest wealth of the ages. There have been many Welfs, but our wealth might be the greatest one. Though we continue to lose piety because we're a bit sinful, we can't help it, it's in our nature, unfortunately. We've had two lovers. Duchess Matilda, unfortunately passed on, of unknown causes. She's got a daughter over here, our child. Well, no one knows yet, but she's our child, and she currently leads Tuscany. She's okay at the moment. We're also the region of the Holy Roman Empire. Our Holy Roman Emperor is currently 27 years old. His heir is only 11, and if our Emperor died, we could become a much more powerful region. Speaking of, we're just beginning to grow in power. We're not quite where we need to be at level 2. We want to get to level 3 and eventually 4 because then we could entrench ourselves as a regent. Then they would have a very hard time getting rid of us. But again, we would need to get rid of the Emperor and have enough years to grow in power. Or we could try to become the Emperor because we did press our claim on the Holy Roman Empire. So now, again, if we wanted to, we could become the Emperor. The greatest wealth to have ever wealthed. Which means now we're going to embezzle a little bit more money. It's what we should do. We're feeling better. No one found out. 1,465 gold. Wow, I feel wealthy right now. Which means we could hold a grand tournament. And we're going to because we could use more prestige. Where are we going to hold it? We've got a few options. We could use, of course, a few more buildings to really help out. It can't be over in our capital because of the mountainous terrain. But why not over here in Falkenstein? That sounds good to me. I like that. So we're going to focus on a nice little recital. A poetry competition, for one. We'll come over here. Then we'll add in archery after that. We could have a more standard fight. I'll spectate for that one. I mean, I could try, but no, we're not going to. But we'll try it out for the recital. I'm kidding. We're going to actually do it. We're going to do it. I can't stop myself. All right, to travel over there, we've got to actually pick up a few people to help us out, like a forest guide. It's our lands, but it's still a little dangerous, especially over here. County control is very low. In fact, I should probably move where it's at, but if a few people get into trouble, so be it. All right, so now we're at medium danger. We should be okay. My champion is going to be someone pretty mighty. Ah, here we go. He's a Bavarian fellow, 26 years old and very strong, so he'll be my champion who will hopefully win a few fights for me. For accommodations, let's go for luxurious encampments. Certain negative events are less likely to fire. And for prizes, we'll go for magnificent prizes too. And we'll focus on maybe murder. Yeah, we could focus on murder. We could always change who we murder. That's true. We could also get rid of our wife. Who wouldn't want to do that? All right. 639 gold. We've got what we need. We just need to wait for people to get over here now. Fresh face and alert, the members of my entourage are eager to get going to the Grand Tournament competition I am hosting. We're only trying to get rid of our wife because, unfortunately, our religious leader won't allow us to divorce her. Historically, Welf would, of course, divorce his wife and marry someone new. And, unfortunately, I've got a knight who's been whispering about me. I could try to challenge him, but instead, get out of my court. You're not going to talk to me like that or about me like that. So there goes my marshal. That's okay, though, because we could get a new marshal, a better marshal. In fact, who do we have? We've got one of our many dwarf friends. We've got, of course, Ottawin, but also Oodleshock. So he's going to be my new marshal, a very mighty one at that. I wonder, could I actually get a new spy master? I don't mind mine, but he's okay. No, it's all right. So we've got tempting fruit. Our road takes us through treacherous parts of Tolts. While I scan for any dangers ahead, a rustling bush grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? As I brace myself for impact, Welf, my son, jumps out of the bush instead, holding a plan. You scared me, Welf. Anyway, let me see what you have here. Some kind of fruit, I exclaim. Yes, it looks and smells so delicious. I wonder what it tastes like. Maybe I'll take just a little bite. You're only five. Where are your... Wait, no, I am your parent. Right. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to let him eat that. 
Don't do that, okay? Oh, he got a rash. That's a sign. You're not meant to eat that. All right, so we've made it over to the tournament grounds. Hopefully my son and myself will be okay. Oh dear. I don't like that at all. I can't qualify yet for my own recital, which is funny. That's all right though. We've got four months to go until everyone is here. So I've got time to figure things out. Our threshold is 20. We're gonna have nearly 200 people here. Many have flocked to my grounds in Falkenstein. Oh, very good. And don't forget, if I can't pronounce a word properly, just let me know phonetically down below how to pronounce it. We're having to go all over the world, and so I'm having to learn different ways on how to pronounce different words. I do speak American English, so my accent is, of course, reflecting where I'm from. And let's have a look real quick. So let's go over to the village, maybe. We could increase county control, which would help out quite a bit. Pulling on the threads. A group of women have taken one of the houses as their primary weaving workshop. And I can clearly grasp that they're having a lively conversation about the ongoing tourney. I lean in on the window with great care of remaining unnoticed. And that man, Ludolf, I can't believe they caught him yesterday in the act. One of them says while expertly weaving some threads. Oh, interesting. He's got a secret. Well, I know what I'm going to do. We could get some weaving taxes, which would tick people off, sure. But here... Let's increase our score. That's what I want to do right now. So now we just need to wait for a new event that we're able to trigger. We still have a long time to wait. There's really no one here yet. But look at that. The King of Poland, Hungary. We've got a Duke as well. Not my Emperor? Really? Let's go over to the tent camp. I would like to visit a few people. Tournament tells. A small crowd is gathered around a passionately orating Count Otto. They seem to be listening intently. True success springs from an undistracted mind, he gently bites his lip. Suppress memories which distract you, and use your opponent's weaknesses against them. Let me tell the tale of when my father, Albrecht, was slain in battle. Tragic. Almost half an hour passes, but it feels like mere seconds. He sure knows how to spin a tell. Hey, look at that, more experience from me. I've learned something. Thank you, pal. And now we're just waiting for our own tournament. It won't be much longer. We'll also gain a lot of prestige whenever more kings and dukes arrive. They're here already. Look at that. 120 for us. They're now growing in prestige, which we want. The recital contest begins. The entrants mill about the main tent, warming up vocal cords and memorizing stanzas as the crowd fills the amphitheater. Oh, my champion was rejected. He's like, does a sword count? No, buddy. It doesn't count. My ears prick up as my name is mentioned. Time to show the world my skill. Ah. I'm not going to bet on myself. My chance to win is not there. Stage fright. Trumpets blare. The masses whoop and holler. I ascend the recital dais, waving. A hush falls as I take a heroic stance. As my chest puffs, as my arms spread wide. I open my mouth. It's dry. It's very, very dry. I try to speak, but words won't come. Hundreds of eyes stare upon me. Why can't I speak? As the crowd's mutterings gather pace, my fumbling hands close around something. Something large and leathery, my purse of coins. Ha ha! Free coin! Ha! There. That was a good ruse. Okay. What do we have over here? The weather's will. Kakoom! A sudden flash of lightning precedes the thunder's roar. And as I make my way to the raised dais, it's clear that the previously pleasant weather has given way to decidedly murky conditions. No sooner do I take the first step up than the rain begins to fall. The crowd stands expectantly. Somewhat reluctantly, getting more sodden by the minute, I open my mouth and another sonorous boom rolls across the whole gathering. I look up to the sky. Well, this will be quite a challenge. I could say that I love a challenge. I'm drowned out by the storm. That was always meant to happen. Okay, a murder rival. At day's end, I spy my rival, my own wife, clearly at ease, relaxing with company. This competition provides a perfect opportunity for an accident to befall her. That's true. I wonder what could happen to her. I do know of some manner of apothecary. We'll try that out. I mean, if it happens, great. I hurry back from the potion seller. Potion seller, give me your finest potions. Who too quickly bought my tail of rats in the stables. As the busy barkeep refills the goblets, it's frighteningly easy to surreptitiously slip the concoction into her cup. Oh, it only seems to befuddle her. I find we are now alone in a secluded spot within the tournament grounds. My poor wife, are you okay? All right, come on. And she's dead. I rush up behind her as quietly as I can, 
grabbing at her head and bring my blade across her neck. She splutters and kicks as I sprint away into the labyrinth of tents. And she's dead. Goodbye, wife. Well, we got our divorce. Oh no, my wife. Tragic. Though I am getting stressed out. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to work on not being so stressed out. I am winning. Well versed. There are precious few competitors left to go, and even less time. It all comes down to one last verse. I am winning. Victory is so close. I doubt that. My chance to actually win is not there. One last verse. Okay, a limerick is a poem that has five lines. The first, second, and fifth lines are meant to rhyme with each other. And let's see. In a castle lived a knight so bold, whose armor was shiny like gold. He rode a horse so grand, with a sword in his hand, but alas, his quest was for a pot of mold. There. Was that okay? Did I fit my rules? All right, let's go on then. Torrential grief. I could drink a lot. That's true. Huh. You know what? I've got to press on. It's what she would want. Whoa, wait, hold on. I won. Excuse me? Ah ha ha, look at my mustache. Clearly that did it. Okay, so the rule is, if you've got a low chance to win, just use a real limerick and you'll win. It'll actually happen. All right. Well, that gives me money, prestige. Look at that. My diplomacy has gone up. I could learn a language a lot easier, which I should definitely try to do. So now we've got an archery tournament. There's no way for me to win that. I'll still try, but there's just no way. I feel pretty fancy. Let's go over to the village again. Oldest Stone. A visit to Falkenstein was exactly what I needed to relax before the contest. As I promenade through the streets, I see local children emulating a battle, using sticks as their weapons and yelling some, for the honor of my house and multiple, ah! I stop to admire one of the most prominent buildings, proudly standing in the middle of the square. As I inspect it a bit closer, however, I quickly notice some ancient inscriptions. Oh, my learning isn't great, so I did not study that ancient language. Oh, it's a trinket. I could, like, take a plaque here. I could just take it. But instead, let's get more development for Innsbruck. I should probably do that. Oh, good. I've got my rock in my pocket. I've got to equip my lucky Bavarian coin. I thought I had it equipped already, but I suppose not. Lovers! I'm finding out so many new secrets around here. That's good to know. Now, I wonder who I could marry. The queen mother of some other country and a princess of the Holy Roman Empire. That could be really, really interesting. I like that idea. Yeah, let's do that. I'm here to have a lot of power. So what better way to get power than to, of course, marry into that lineage? It's a good idea. I've got my heirs already. Let's focus on seducing someone. Let's say a princess. We could do that. Let's do that then. Sure, we need more children, right? It's time to show the world my skill. I'm not going to place any type of bet. That seems like a really bad idea. No, my chance to win is quite minimal. There's been a tragedy. I <laughs> let loose my arrow and I hit someone. They're dead. Here's some money. I'm going to leave now, I think. And Count Guido wrote me a poem. Well, thank you. Again, I'll put it on my fridge once I have a fridge one day. And we're just going to move on. A miss loose. I watch with a practice eye as Bredislav begins his approach towards the targets. The first shot flies true and thuds home. The second was more wayward, much more wayward. A shrill cry, an ungodly scream pierces the air. Oh no. Okay, it hit one of the counts over here. He didn't lose an eye, that's a good thing. Call a physician. I'm getting stressed out again. He likes me a lot more for doing that for him. I had no chance to win that competition. I should have just watched, but I was like, hey, maybe I could gamble. Highly strong. One more shot. Triumphs the lure. The lulls in the tournament's festivities give you plenty of time to engineer a run-in with that princess. It was easy to ensure her husband, Prince Eric, would be elsewhere. Ooh, a vassal in the Kingdom of Denmark. A prince, too. Congratulations on winning the recital, Duke Wealth, she politely offers. It was quite the spectacle. Oh, there was a twinkle in her eye. That's true. I did it all for you, my lady. Yeah, there we go. She seems to have reacted warmly to my response, blushing as she laughs coyly. When she leaves, the tension is palpable in every pleasantry. I knew I would find the right words to win her over. She's on the hook. We got her now. And I did not win. No, not even by a long shot. That guy, much better. We don't have a lot of great champions here, but 
Let's see. Here's our conclusion for the tournament. She resisted my carnal persuasions. Well, we didn't spend a lot of time doing that, but that's okay. And I've gotten a prize brooch, which is quite nice too. My knights are going to be more effective, more prestige, and all of that good stuff. Oh, and seducing people? That's going to be a lot easier. Well, thank you. I could also give a few words, but I'm not going to do that. What a great occasion. Now everyone can go home. My glory is widely known. We've got over 2,000 prestige. I still have plenty of money as well, so we could even host some manner of new event or spend our current amount of money. That's why I've been able to build up so many new buildings because of what we have right now. We're currently 43. We'll be married in, what, six years? And then we'll be able to, I don't know, change up the Holy Roman Empire a little bit more. I'm back home, finally. Right now, we have a major control issue. We've got to help that out. So what we're going to do then, we're going to host another activity. It's going to have to be some manner of grand tour locally. It could be intimidation. No, let's try to get more prestige. I've got money as it currently stands. We're going to visit our lands back home over here. We don't have to visit every single location. We could if we wanted to. We've got other vassals around us. Let's visit at least two more. Then we'll go home. It's a long trip, but let's do that. For the first three, we're going to tour the grounds. That's how I want to do it. Once we get down over here, let's have a cultural festival. Then finally, we'll have a feast. That should work out. We're going to visit quite a few vassals. 174 gold as of right now. Let's hire some mercenary guards for one. And we're going to need mountaineers. There's still going to be some danger. I'm going to bring along excessive furniture for one. Because, again, we want everything to work out and we want more prestige. Also, I want every available courtier to join me. And I want more prestige. My overall intent is probably a bit of lechery. No, for now, it's going to be justice, but later, lechery. All right, 613 gold. Let's begin our grand tour. A great start. Already, my stress is going away. And I'm gaining a lot of prestige, which is what I wanted. Now we're traveling through a little barony. They've been sharing some pithy wisdom. Well, you see, the trick is to just put your back into it and don't stop till the job's a good un. So that could help me get a new tradition like industrious, which is fine. That could help out with us getting a lot of development. That would be good to have early on. But instead, let's help out Innsbruck by increasing their development. Let's keep on traveling. We are very nearly there. And so we're here already. That was quick. We did it. My arrival here in Rothenburg is marked with fanfare. Let's get to it. Oh, I love it. Because I'm arrogant, I lose so much stress. And every location here gains more control. Our poor Count, he's in bad shape. Only 21, but in really bad shape. Our Count here has a great castle. There are so many windows around. I could offer some manner of window tax. I like that. Let's do that. Every county title held by him is going to have more control. He's not going to like me nearly as much, but he's also going to give me money, and I'm going to like him more. Look, that's a good thing, right? Out of turn. During the tour of the barony, I am locked in a conversation with my vassal about the importance of information and deception when he is interrupted by one of his courtiers. Oh, what's happening over here? The Count did not chastise her and allowed her to speak directly to me. Though what she has to say is quite interesting, the breaking of social etiquette has caught me quite off guard. She should never speak out of turn. Be gone, woman. You don't get to do that. Not here. The Count has been quite the gracious host so far, showing me his lands and so on. What could I do here? I could have him increase his feudal taxes to me. He wouldn't like that. But he could also pay me more, because I found a hidden room. Over here, he's got a deposit of food, gold pieces, and general goods. I want my money. I'll take it now. My ride through the grounds of his barony is brought to a sudden, jolting halt as I feel my prized horse stumble over a rock. Though it is quick to recover, and I am only momentarily thrown off balance, I can hear members of my procession snickering behind me. Oh, I don't like that. It's time to slay my horse. I'll do it. It's happening. I've been angered. And now I've got a new horse. I lose a bit of money, but that's all right. So now, we're waiting for our current tour to end. It won't take too much longer. More lovers. And I have a new spy master, by the way. I decided to change out my council. I've got the Dwarf 3.
They're very talented. Alduin, Udelshock, and Walrum. They're all very good at what they do. Baldrick has learned to hide German a bit late for that, buddy. All right, what's over here? So now the Count is showing me his barracks. I would like it to be a bit more majestic. There's not a high chance for it to work out, but I'll try it out. My advice didn't work. <laughs> Mismanagement for 15 years. Ooh, his maintenance goes up, which in a weird way does benefit me because he won't be able to really fight against me if he's not able to pay for his own men. And it's time for tribute. If he says no, I could imprison him. Let's do that. Demand refuse. Oh, I won't forget, pal. You were meant to do that. So now I'm traveling to a new area, and I've made it to another town close by. I mean, it's right over there. All right, Heinrich, maybe you'll be better. I'll look at him later on once we're done with our current tour. Let's get to it. I've got no stress. I'm just here to have a good time. Staying with vassals and having a change of scenery has been nice, but the constantly changing layouts becomes increasingly confusing. When left to my own devices, I rarely know where to look for commonplace necessities, like where I might find a midnight snack. So now I've been bungling through his castle and I have found the Count and his wife getting intimate. Interesting. All right. I could be beckoned a bit closer. I like that. Wait, a threesome? We're having a threesome. Oh my God. You know what? Why not? Let's go. We're jumping in. And I've got a hook on him too. Oh, look at that. A Duke here has schemed to have <gasps> the prince killed. That's a major secret. So the heir to the Holy Roman Empire was murdered by the Duke here. I'm learning so much. That's one way to get to know your count and the countess too. Now he's got too many windows here. I'm gonna need him to actually be taxed. Yeah, you've got too many windows, I don't like it. And what's over here too? He refused to actually pay that tax. That's fine. He paid me to look away from a certain room. 75 gold. All right. Give me my money. And here are my parting demands. Look, you were a bad lay. Your wife was okay. And she's pregnant. Oh, dear God. I think we did a bad. All right. Well, it's time for tribute. He gives in. Good. And goodbye to you. His county's doing better. He's mad at me, but that's okay. So now we're in another new area. We are traveling all over at the moment. We've got one more area over in Bavaria. Then we'll move down into Italy. But look at that. Their development's going up, all of it. So here's a young count. Wow. The fifth of your line. Oh, there's a brawl going on. They're always brawling. It's only a claim on the county, but I'll have to take it. It's Augsburg right over there. Now, let's move on to a new event. Just little subjects. I find myself curious to see how the low lives of Passau live. So I pay a visit to an establishment where the locals seem to be growing quite rowdy. One man stands atop a table, commanding the attention of everyone in earshot. What do we even need to count for anyway? Ropota makes us fight his battles while he rests on his laurels. He's a child, by the way. Yet he expects our undying loyalty. You know what? Prison. Prison for all of you. Get out of here. All right. What's over here now? All right, I don't have a choice right now. He had a weak hook favor on me. Really, did he now? All right, I'll have to keep that in mind. The old Count of Rothenburg. I say old, but I'm gonna get rid of him. Don't worry about it. How dare he use that on me? And I've got a new hook on a chancellor of our Kaiser. He hates me a lot. All right, so again, I hate your windows. Give me money. Hunting prowess, oh dear God. As I continue to tour the grounds of the barony, we've got some hunting going on. He's only 12, but I need to make sure that I dunk on this little kid. Hey, punk, I'm a better hunter than you. Ha ha, he's impressed. More windows again. Naturally, I've got to tax him, and I'm gonna make my demands known here. Give me tribute. He also refused. Well, that angers me too. It shall not be forgotten. And now we're traveling away. What's over here now? We approach a hamlet where a forlorn man stands shackled on a gallows, a throng gathering at its foot. Duke, it's the Duke! A peasant stumbles through the crowd, crying, Please, my husband is innocent. Interesting now. What are the charges? I could also have them join me. They're not very good. Well, carry on. Let's go. I don't care. 
Duke Welf is a busy, busy, arrogant man. Oh, the child was not meant to be. Yeah, probably not. My own region over here, Count Walrum, is quite selfless. He's a good fellow. For myself, maybe not. I'm going to leverage my prestige to swing to scales of power. We have got to move it up, and quickly, too. We could also try to get rid of him, though he's currently traveling. Danger, a quarrelsome lot. As we trek through Tolts, our caravan is stopped at a clearing bordered by dense trees. So, we find Rodolfo and Ugo having an irate row. Oh, these two are fighting. I'll try to talk to him. It didn't work out. Oh, he's gone now? Well, that isn't good. That's my caravan master. I don't get a new one right now. That could be bad. We currently have a lot of soldiers, and we're going to be able to do a lot. We've got trophy halls back over in my capital. I do want to build a few more buildings. We could upgrade our mines. Let's do that. 725 gold. In time, I'll be able to embezzle even more money. And we were turned away. Oh, no. You know what? I could break down the bloody gates. No, we're going to wait. It's fine. I could imprison him, too. I'm learning a lot about my vassals today. They're all in trouble. I'm just here to have a good time. And let's see. The Emperor would like my son to be taught by some idiot, right? Baldemar, who the hell are you? Hell no. Why would you even want that? Now it's time for dinner. We've made it over here to a Prince Bishop's abode. We're going to have a much better time, I hope. What now? No, continue to find secrets. I love your hat, by the way. It's a wonderful hat. So food has been piled high once again this evening, as I have come to expect. However, the little patriots I had grown so fond of seem to be absent. They're gone? I'm going to find out who took it. Nope, I failed. Dreams of a better life. I've got over here someone who would like to join me. Know your place, fool. I'm not here to help you out. You're not very talented. And here's a tasty treat, too. Let's see. The food has been a delight. I have feasted on all manner of food, savory and sweet. I could keep on eating. You know what? I'll do it. I'm hungry. I feel pretty good. Now I'm full of desserts, which gives a small boost to my health for five years. And you know what? You did a good job. I want you to like me more. Perfect. Let's go on to a new area, the Trotten Path. The procession has ground to a halt a stone's throw away from Bozano. I look over to see my courtier, Wigabird, is mounted and intently staring at something on the ground. All right. There is an ant path here. You know what? I'll take over as guide. I got lost. <laughs> on a mountain trail, one foot after another, I slowly move forward on a narrow mountain trail. Suddenly, I hear a rumble and quickly a silent scream. Uh-oh. What happened? Ellen Hard, are you dead? Well, I could try to save him. I'll pray for him. Good luck. Nope, he's dead. That was my grand tour. It didn't go very well, not at all. It was a pretty bad tour, but we're going home now. We've got more power than we did before, and my physician is getting better. So for all of my money, I could make even more money. I could also get a new claim too. Oh, look at that. Pizza. I wouldn't mind taking that area. That's over here, but it's also right by my territories, is it not? It is. That would be a very easy area to take over. It's also got some money too. So if we took it over, that's a decent amount of tax money. We might as well take it. Keep on trying to find secrets. I'll pick that up right now. We'll go to war in just a bit, just to have a bit of coin added to what we have already. Now let's gain positions of power. Counselor opinion will go up by plus 20. That's what we want at the moment. If we don't have that, they might hate me and we don't want them to hate me. As of right now though, they love me. Taking over what he has won't be difficult. I mean, we've got a brilliant dwarf general. They won't see him coming. We've already caught a few people. He's actually not too bad. He's okay, he's getting a little bit older. If he was younger, I would probably hire him. And already we're taking over because I've got so many siege engines and they're also enhanced by our minds too. That's why they're doing so well. We also caught him. I'm not gonna do anything else other than end our current war. It was a very brief war, which is why I wanted to fight it. Now, I've got to give away these territories. I could give it over to the Lord Mayor. He's not a bad fellow. I do like him a lot. I think it's a really good idea, so I'll let him have it. And he's a bit more powerful. He's been very loyal to me, so I'm happy to have him on my side. Now it's time to blackmail a few people. That guy, I don't really care who you are. I'm just here to get blackmails going on. 
I'm here to ensure that we've got all that we need at the moment to have all the power that we're able to pick up. You never know where they might end up in someone's court, so to have them on my side is a really good thing. We might save a bit of money and finally get rid of our emperor. I think it's a good idea. His heir over here is only nine. That would be a great way for us to, of course, move on and maybe gather a lot more power. I wonder, we could have our spy master support us. I thought you were better at what you do, pal. Are you not? Yeah, I've got a few other people who could probably help me out, but anyway, he's over there right now doing his job. Who could we hire? Oh, I've got a hook on you. The Duke who killed a child of our Kaiser. And unfortunately, she didn't want to join, but I'm going to make her join anyway. She's currently pregnant. You know what? What if we tried to seduce her later? I could do that. No, she hates me a lot. She really hates me due to strife because, again, I'm a regent, so many others do hate me. But to actually take him out will only take maybe a year. Then it'll be over for him. Religious ecstasy. I'm sitting in the church, my thoughts abandoning the words of Bishop Hugo in favor of the time I tumbled with Sophia. Ever since then, I've been thinking of her almost daily. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, wait, no. Unfortunately, this is having some rather noticeable side effects. Perhaps if I position the scriptures just right, I can hide his growing problem. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I've got to try to seduce her. It's time. Let's make it happen. It shouldn't take too long, right? I don't believe so. Pretty soon we'll find out if we're able to take out the Emperor and also take out a few other things too. We could do a bit of embezzling. 500 gold. That's not too much money. They won't notice a bit of it. Yeah, I don't want to gamble too much right now. 797 is a decent amount to have. And again, I could continue to help my towns grow. That would be a really good call. I've got a few areas where I really just need them to make a lot more money. Quarries are very cheap. They're going to help out a lot. Over here, we could build hill farms. But why not monasteries too to help increase control, piety, and of course tax money. It's only two years and I still have plenty of money. Anyone can buy a token of affection, big or small. If I want to impress Countess Sophia, I should send her something truly special. I could find her a nice book. Nah, I'm good. I'll just take my time and use my normal ways, my wiles. Ah, where is he anyway? Very far away, traveling to Jerusalem. Currently 30 and a drunkard. He's not feeling well either. He's feeling fine at the moment, but there it is. All right, let's say something goes wrong. Let's say there's a band of thugs over here. That's a shame. And so he died. The thugs did their job. Kaiser Heinrich is no more. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough, and he was slain in the melee. The bandits are being hunted down, but it's over now. So I get to be a very powerful region for a much longer period of time. Let's have a look. I could once again swing the scales, and I want to. I'm going to leverage my prestige because I've got so much of it. There. We're now at level two. We're able to potentially imprison fellow vassals and courtiers too within the realm of our leader. We just need to get to level four. So I could become the emperor or I could control the emperor. We'll see in time. For now, I'm content to really rule where we're at. Now it's time for our power play. I've got my son, Welfwell, who's going to get married. It'll be to, let's see, a princess over in England. No, the princess of Hungary. That'll work out. Sure, let's have a grand wedding for fun. Then over here for Welfwell, for number two, we're going to have another marriage, but to England. There. Now, we've got so many powerful allies. Let's see, a reading. Hmm. Whatever works out, I don't really care. Did she like it? She didn't like it. We'll keep on trying. I don't really care if it works out or not. We're just kind of shooting our shot. We're getting closer to 50. Unfortunately, we still do have that plant rash. I wonder if that's what killed Matilda, our former lover. How is Tuscany doing? Oh, they're doing fine. Huh. My kid is doing okay. A few years have passed on. Duke Welf is currently 51. He's known for his dedication to his faith, though we don't have a lot of piety to show for it. We are, in fact, married to Adelheid, who's 18 years old. We've had one child together, Welf Welf. And we've also gone up in our power for our regency, level three right now, which means we could instantly try to forge claims on the titles of fellow vassals. 
If we want to grow in power, we could in fact do that. Unfortunately, right now, our leader is about to come of age. Then we'll need to figure out how we're going to stay around. Hopefully, he won't be able to get rid of us so easily. Though, we also have a claim over here, thanks to, of course, my bishop, where we could take over Augsburg. And I do want to do that. So, let's go to war. I don't need to call my allies in. It won't take that long to take over their capital. Also, I've been working on building so many new buildings in order to make more money. What's over here? Two of her kids could become friends. Who's a good child? Ah, oh, Popo. You've got to trust in Popo. That's a great name. I love that name. I could get more Manganellas, and so I shall. There we go. Because my goal is to always end a war quickly. It's financially a wise thing to do. Ah, Count Amadeo. You want to plot against me? Throw him into jail. I would like to do that, sure. And I've won the war. We got the Duke. These Dukes aren't going out to fight. So we're taking over so very quickly. Now, I could try to get a claim over here. Duke Berthold, the second of Swabia. He's lacking a limb. He's a drunkard, and he likes to go to brothels. He is just not doing well. All right. If I get a claim over here, that would be phenomenal. Some strife would be gained, sure. But I would only get a claim on a county. I would want a duchy. Yeah, that wouldn't be sufficient for me. See, that's what I truly want. Is to take over all of his lands. Not one bit of it. Take over all of... Swabia, that would be great. Unfortunately, the Pope won't let me do that. I could try to learn his language. I could gift him an artifact. Wait, when did I get that? I don't, oh, okay, I've had that. Huh. Well, let me have a look at my items real quick. I've got my, yeah, prize brooch, and I've got that too. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know anything about that item. Oh, I see. I got it after that siege. Understood. Well, I don't have my own court. Not yet. Maybe I should have a court very soon. We've got our level 2 mines. We're doing well. We've got so much money coming in. I could even expand my military by a larger amount, which would be nice, sure. And I was hoping to actually gain power as a regent. Unfortunately, our emperor came of age. And because of that, I've lost my skills of power. I would have to probably pass all of our mini mandate events in order for me to get more power. At least in time. They would have to be a baby, I would have to pass our events, which I did not. I wish I did, but our chances to pass any of them, it was quite low, and it was only adding quite a bit of strife. So I wasn't able to go down that route. I was hoping to overthrow my liege, but I'm not able to do that either. I've got to fulfill a few other things over here. The scales of power and his regency are swung against him. They are not. I can't do any of it, which is fine. We'll do it in a more traditional way. We could have some manner of future marriage, or we could just have the emperor killed. He's not loved. It would be very easy to have him killed. I mean, many people. Oh, even his food taster. Okay, that's pretty funny. Here's a bit of money. I don't need his aid, but I want his aid. And his own mother, I've got a hook on her. I could get her to help me out in killing her son. I did kill her husband, who of course shamed us, and that's why he had to die. Duke Pierre is in his cups on a daily basis. Have another drink. Sure. Have a good bit of time. Let's go to new perk too. I've got my administrator perk now. That means we're just going to be a much more proficient administrator. We're already at 22 for stewardship. We're currently 52. We're not feeling great, unfortunately. But it's okay. We're not going to waste any money. I don't need to. We've got everything that we need right now uninvited. So we've got a deadly spider. And the emperor will enjoy it. And so, he's dead. He's been killed by me. Oh, and because I'm the head of our dynasty, here's what we're able to do. Restore inheritance. Because of that, I was actually quite curious as to how we were able to get our lands to begin with. I have no idea how and why, but we're no longer having to contend with that. Now, we've got Kaiser Bruno. I'm not allied to him. I've got my claims, and I've got my allies too. He's got one ally. Ooh, a Basilius. They are allied through marriage. All right. She's got to die then. I don't want them to have help. That would be annoying. Now, let's try maybe one more good old-fashioned murdering. Here's a bribe. 
122 gold. I told you we would use gold in order to gain power. So we're doing that right now. I'm using a strong hook. Lines about, okay, yes, thank you. A great poem. Get out, I hate it. All right, so now we're just gonna wait for everyone to join in because we just need all the aid to actually kill that Empress. Man, what a lot of power that she has. 94%, that should do it. So now we just need to wait for a little over a year. Wolf Wolf Jr. has come of age. He's zealous, just, arrogant, and still a bit pensive. No, he's meant to be Midas Touch, so he's a very good administrator already. Good for him. And it's time for him to be married, which means we're gonna have a grand wedding. Let's do that. Oh, if only it could be a bloody wedding, but we don't have that perk, Accomplished Forger. So it's gotta be a grand one. We could hold it in my capital. What about over here? Oh, we do have a nice building. More renowned, I like that. Let's go. So these two are meant to be married. I'm gonna murder someone. I don't know who yet, but I'm gonna murder someone. I'll be traveling down. I need mercenary guards, of course, mountaineers. And now we're safe. When it comes to the wedding, I don't want to spend too much, but a decent amount. I could embezzle some money later, but no, that'll work. Now let's go down and host our wedding. A nice claim on Salzburg. Well, I'll take that. I would like to, of course, take it over one day. Oh, and by the way, because our prior leader died, my wife over here, Adelheid, she's the queen of Germany. Look at that. She doesn't have a ton of soldiers under her direct command, but she has many, many titles. So many counties and kingdoms that could grow in time, and that'll all go to Wealth Wealth, our most powerful wealth, if he comes to power anyway. So we've done it so far. Now we're just waiting on the wedding to begin. Unfortunately, my plot to have her killed has fallen by the wayside. We won't be able to do it, which is fine, but Kaiser Bruno has been murdered anyway. Oh, he fell from his horse while hunting. He was on a hunting trip and died. That's unfortunate for him. That's really interesting. So now we've got a new Kaiser. I won't be alive by the time he comes of age. So what we'll probably do, we'll probably have to press our claim very soon. Let's have a look over here at the wedding. Oh, hello there, Kaiser baby. You've made me your steward? Okay, I'll buy you a few toys, why not? Back over to the wedding for my boy. The wedding ceremony starts. It won't be a difficult one, a father's heart. The day's finally come, and I couldn't be prouder of my wealth, the beautiful groom. As the person standing by my side has unwillingly discovered, look at him, isn't he radiant? And it's such a good match, everything is perfect. As I finally turn around, I realize that my neighbor is the Pope. Oh, okay. I could try to make him my ally, that's what I wanted but that won't happen. I'm just so proud. More renowned for us. A magnificent welcome. I'm glad I told my servants early to keep an eye out for the Pope, because in the midst of the wedding preparations, I would have missed it otherwise. Instead, I'm proudly standing in the middle of the courtyard, wearing my fancy's clothes and surrounded by a guard of honor when Alexander makes his entrance. I am extremely pleased to welcome you, Pope Alexander. I could show him the gardens, I could show him the venue's preparations. That would be the best one. Oh, because I'm lusty and I'm also arrogant, I would lose 128 stress if it worked out. It did work out, and he likes me a little bit more. Good. Religious complaints. Everyone is excited and amazed by the magnificence of the wedding venue. Everyone but the Pope. Since his arrival, he's been prowling, searching for any pretext to complain. Ugh. I hate that. I do. I could kick him out. You know what? Pope? Get out. I hate you. Be gone. Forget about it. Look, we're arrogant and very, very powerful. We're not gonna allow that to happen here. Uh-oh. A misstep. I am enjoying the ceremony, proud of what I managed to organize. But unfortunately, wealth freezes in confusion. He forgot what to do next. Oh, my boy. Okay. What could I do? It happens. Yeah, it's fine. It's because of my recreation intent. My son, of course, loves me. I could get a bit lusty. Oh, the queen mother. How old is she? 42? Could she have a kid? I don't know. Maybe. 
I doubt it. Eh, for fun. Let's go for it. Why not? She's a queen mother. All right, back off we go. We don't really have a lot of time to get to her, but we can always try. There's a war going on to take out our leader. And here we go. The ceremony has finally reached its climax, but our Duke has it, unfortunate. The traditional rituals have been completed and all that's left is the final vows. Oh, the Pope is doing it. That's really cool. Damn, we are powerful. So these two are now married. That's great. The banquet is now beginning and we're just gonna have a good time allowing that to just unfold quite the spectacle. A magnificent throng of musicians, tumblers, and actors are providing the evening's entertainment, thrilling guests across the hall. Near my seat, both Ben Radovan and King Vladimir share their opinions on the display. Oh, look at that. The Serbian King, the Craven. And over here, a Croatian fellow. He's got some power. All right, let's see. I'm gonna focus on my entertainment. Screw all of them, okay? Forget about it. I'm busy. Uninvited. Oh, I no longer need to have her killed. It's fine. Now, I could try to have a child with her or even try to marry her. See, she's got a claim on the Byzantine Empire. That could be very, very interesting. I won't do it right now, but I would like to. All right, I could go confide, but I don't want my son to be my rival. I should be spending time with the couple and their families, but I do love my friend, Duke Leopold of Austria. Ah, you know what? Well, come join us. That probably won't work out. Instead, I'll make him my best friend. We might as well gain a bit of power. He's only 38. All right. So every wedding banquet is host to a frankly, let's see, interminable number of speeches. Some long, some short, some honest, some deceptive, rolling up and down the hall, punctuating every course of the feast in waves. I could praise him. I could also direct it towards Sophie because I'm lusty. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, she likes the hens. I'm like, yes, I love the bountiful, bountiful large feast here. The pumpkins are massive. Okay, the innuendo. I know what I said. I just don't understand why you find it so funny. Ms. Lav cocks his head to the side while I withhold my chortle. I haven't told him that what he said could be interpreted as something lewd. <laughs> ah, he's a cunning linguist. I got it. I got it. So... I'm going to leave it alone right now. Yeah, never mind. Forget about it. All over my new shirt. Heinrich, you idiot. You crazy drunkard sodomite. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Now the wedding night is starting. Do we watch? Do we all like get here and watch? I have no idea. But they're doing better. Oh, look at that. Acceptance between the Bavarians and Hungarians has gone up by 5%. That's really good. The newlyweds have taken their leave. Let's see, consigned by the families to the bedchamber to consummate their union, the rest of us return to the banquet hall to make merry and celebrate. With the ceremonies complete and the vows spoken, I am overwrought with concern and hope for the happy couple. All right, the church will be quiet now, that's true. I could go listen to my servants, I could talk to Flavio, or I could look to the paupers. You know what? I don't need to worry about piety. I think I would like to learn a secret. Ooh, a murder of a foreign ruler. He's close by. He's not too foreign. All right. Invalidated intent target. Oh, well, I'll find someone new one day. A meeting of houses. What a long wedding. The newlyweds retire for the evening. The braziers are lit. The flagons filled and musicians rally for festivities long into the night. Hours later, I find myself looking hazily down my goblet at Immo, the grandfather of the bride. All right. We could drink more. I could also become a drunkard. Dynastic doubts. Tired after a long day's waiting and socializing. No, don't doubt what's going on. They're married, okay? Get over it. It's over now. We're gonna have to go fight a war. And there's our conclusion. We gained a lot of prestige. It went pretty well, I think. A local hero. Ah, okay, it's a little altar. We've read events like that. We had better get going. And I'm not gonna have her killed because it wouldn't be wise. Of travels to come. So here's a tent. I can tell you have many miles to go. He's trying to get me to pay for a reading? Have him killed. Easy and done. He's a witch and he's been burned. All right, so now my dwarf leader is gonna go after these enemies of mine. See, we've got to save our current emperor. Of course, I could just have him killed. 
But I'm not the heir. Wait, no, I am the heir. Oh. The war is for what? It's an independence war. Well, we don't want him to be independent, so I could just have him killed because I'm too old to wait him out. Let's do that. It's a good idea, I think. Yeah. Now, what's over here? A foreign treat. It's not the first time I catch my caravan leader, Ugo, fiddling around with some flowers. I could try to romance Lydia. Oh, God. Her eyes are beautiful, huh? These eyes? Are you sure? They're looking left and right. Nope. Do what you want. It's no longer my caravan master. I don't care. All right, so we're fighting a battle against two. Jorge. Well, he's lost a battle. It's over for him. Now, unfortunately, the King of England died, so we no longer have an alliance going on, which is pretty vexing for me. So I've got to break up one marriage. I've got to right now. There goes, of course, some of our prestige, but that's okay. We could always find another ally like Sweden. Sweden could be a very good ally or even Poland. Poland has a lot of power, but what about Sweden? Hold on, let's see. Sweden would be very good. Okay, let's make it happen. Matrilineal, I am traveling. I can't promise a grand wedding. That's okay. Let's make it happen right now. In fact, I should probably only have a bunch of those, you know, grand weddings, but I'm choosing not to. Now, let's hold on. We're going to have to go after maybe where the leader's at. Where is he at? He's right over here. I could try to sail on over to his capital, at least to one capital. One capital for me. I'm going capital hunting today. There's one. That feels pretty good. Now, let's move on over and go after another one. If we keep on doing that, we could heavily weaken them. They're fighting elsewhere. They can't really stop us at the moment. And now we've got another new perk. It is my domain or income. That's fine. I can move over here if I want to stay alive for a little bit longer. And maybe I do. I'm feeling fine at the moment. Though my frozen grief is quite annoying. Hopefully one day it'll be fixed. Wealth has been busy. We'll call you Wealth Arena. And you're also going to be Wealth. It's all wealth from here on out. But twins, good job, my boy. The line of wealth continues to grow. And so now we've got twins, wealth and wealth. We're also going to try to take out the enemy army over to the west instead of trying to besiege all of your lands down. That should be a bit faster, at least I hope so. We'll fight them in the mountains and beat them all. My bodyguard died. Poor guy, slain in battle. Well, he fought for a very long time. And we did beat them. Oh, goodbye, baby. Let's see. One of his wet nurses is willing to do it. Oh, that's brutal. Well, it's going to happen now. Look at that. The wet nurse was caught but executed in anger before she had a chance to confess my involvement in the crime. Which means we have a new emperor, everyone. That poor baby. What a horrible, horrible crime. The new Kaiser. Following the tragic and unfortunate death of Kaiser Kuna of the Holy Roman Empire, the responsibility to lead a vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. Well, we've got to give away a few duchy titles or we're going to be in trouble. I mean, really in trouble. We've also gained the loincloth of Jesus. It's never been washed. The iron crown of Lombardy, which we definitely should have. The throne of Charlemagne and so much more. My court is already incredible, so let's give away a few things. We're going to tick off everyone if I don't give away what I have right now. We could be in a lot of trouble. I could sponsor someone I don't want to. I'm going to pick out someone to, of course, be my heir, one of my own children. Let's put up our items right now. There's one banner. Over here, another banner. For my throne, I've got the throne of Charlemagne. Beautiful and wonderful. We've got the loincloth we've put out. Ooh. Zealot vassals are going to love me. They're like, yeah, we love that loincloth. And over here, the Iron Crown of Lombardy. So much prestige and renown. So much that we now have. Let's see. We've got another crown. 9.4 for prestige. And the Sword of God, giving me natural dread. All right. Beyond that, we have all that we need. We just need to probably spend a bit more money on ensuring that our court is beautiful. We could focus on administrative, being scholarly, which is pretty nice, or diplomatic. As of right now, let's keep it diplomatic. Our language naturally is high German. Let's change it up. It's a bit of money gone, but 
we've got to have slightly better food. I've given out our mini duchies. We've got over here two dukes who have served me as counts for a very long time. They've done an incredible job as military commanders, as spy masters, even stewards. The former lover of wealth, she's no longer a spy master. The war isn't over yet. We just need to finish up our war. We need to actually conquer more territories. Now we're able to besiege a little bit of everything. Let's go after another capital. And I'll need to summon up more soldiers. I could also call my allies to war, like Hungary. Let's do that. And over here, Sweden. They're all willing to help me out. And here's a vassal who's also willing to join me. That is a pretty large chunk of land, even for low feudal obligations. We probably want that on our side. That's going to give us a nice little headway over here. Yeah, those lands are only growing. That's going to make us a lot stronger. So let's just take over what we need at the moment. There's not too much I need to worry about. There are so many new things we're able to do, like dismantle the Greek pretenders. We could restore the Roman Empire. There's a lot of routes where we could go down. Of course, after we pass on, it's going to get a little bit confusing for a bit of time. We've got so much more power now. I brought together another army to go after their army while we're conquering other areas. I would like to go after each and every capital, but that might not be tenable at the moment. For now, let's go after another major force. Here's another dead duke, or he's going to be dead. I don't know how cruel it will be to all of them, but they're losing it. They're losing it right now. Let's go take out another army. They shouldn't be trying to get away. I hope not. We'll lose how many? Only 63. Ah, shoot. You know what? We'll just come over here. They're not willing to give up yet. And that's okay, because we're about to take over. Oh, hello. My, let's see. Vassal, Juliana, has had an affair. Well, off to prison you go. I'm an emperor now. I get to do that. All right, so we're not done conquering yet, but look, we're nearly done. I mean, we nearly have every single location. I could try to chase them all down, but that might be a bit much. Instead, let's just go besiege some area. Mind and body. Yeah, let's go running. Now we're a bit more athletic. We might stay around for a few more years. Like I said before, we were very old. We called upon our allies, and we have very powerful allies. We've also got a birthday party going on. Well, thank you, my friends. I've got friends, surprisingly. Ooh, an old ring. I like that. Well, that's really cool of them. Usually, those gifts suck a lot, but that's really good. There's my crown on my head right now. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's so cool. So, we did a lot more with our family than I thought we ever could do. Two years of fighting. That independence war is over. We now own the Holy Roman Empire. We even conquered a bit of land. Well, not even conquered. We just got a bit of land. Oh, my son was unfortunately disfigured. That's a pretty scary wealth. You know what? My other wealth will become wealth. The Kaiser wealth. Yeah, see, he's young. He's got quite a few claims, too, on many, many lands. And I like him. He's very young. He should do a pretty good job. I could have him also marry someone very powerful. Of course, one day we want claims over here for the Byzantine Empire or even Bulgaria. That could be really good. Or Poland. So we've got so many options, like I said before, on where we could expand. Called to become regent. It's self-evident to all the Holy Roman Empire that Kaiser Wealth of the Holy Roman Empire cannot shoulder the burdens of rule by himself, not without causing irreparable harm to our lands. Since Kaiser Wealth cannot rule by himself, someone must serve as his regent. Naturally, that someone is me, Kaiser Wealth. You've got to depend on yourself no matter what. So we are our own regent and the Kaiser. Unfortunately, the King of Sweden died, so we're no longer allied. I broke off that marriage, so now we're allied to Poland. That seems like a much better idea. We've got Hungary, we've got Poland, and France as allies. We could then conquer whatever we want. Denmark, we could go after the Byzantine Empire, Apulia down over here. Robert the Fox is still alive. Our daughter, Matilda, she's alive too, 17 years old. She's doing fine. And we're actually fairly stable in role, it looks like. I mean, many of my most powerful vassals love me. We're going to be just okay right now. We've also got a new dynasty legacy. Good for us. Now, our children, we've got, of course, my eldest wealth. He's over here. He's got twins, married to a princess of Hungary. We've got second wealth. And he's going to marry into Poland's line, probably. Finally, our third wealth. And he's going to marry into France, eventually. He's currently six years old. So if everything works out, there's going to be claims for everything around Europe. 
which is incredible. Of course, we would need to worry about what might happen to all of our lands once we pass on. But instead of playing the game where I try to min-max every single decision, it's been fun to just make decisions largely based on our traits. Like zealous, arrogant, lustful. We made a lot of choices, which thankfully didn't cause us to collapse. We did use money and a bit of intrigue. We barely fought any wars and still managed to really just cause massive upheaval here. And of course, our wife, she's a queen of Germany. That makes us even more powerful now. So, let's have a look over here. Wait, my throne room, it changed. I want the old one back. That will conclude our wealth series for today. If you want to check out the save, I'll have it linked right down below. And make sure that you do let me know what you would like to see me play next. Once more overhaul mods are updated, I'll be sure to check those out too. But thank you for watching everyone. Do leave a like and comment right down below. And as always, until then.